Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome here to the post-game press conference of the game between Bulgaria and Montenegro of the 2022 FIBA Eurobasket live here in Tbilisi, Georgia, currently with head coach Rosen Barchowski and Dejan Karamfilov of Bulgaria. Can we just kindly ask that your mobile phones are on silent? We'll have time for questions in English and in Bulgarian. Coach, exciting game to watch, very close to the end. Just an open statement from your perspective as coach of this game. So, uh, the players, my colleagues, me, we are sorry for, for uh, that we lose uh, the chance to win this game. We were very, very close. So, okay, we played better and better every game. Uh, this is good. But in each game, we have a, some little period that for me, for my opinion, we lose the game. This period was the first five minutes of the third quarter. Uh, with worse defense, without organization in offense, uh, with turnovers, with uh, missing the open shots. This was the key in the game. Uh, of course, the defense also is our problem, problem, especially under the basket. Uh, the offense is g going uh, well. I think it's going very well, uh, but it's not enough. Uh, no, mm, what to say? I hope that uh, we can win the last two games. Dejan Karamfilov, 6.7 assists. Very good performance for you coming as a point guard in this game. Just an opening statement from your perspective as a player. Ни да, и аз мисля, че загубихме организация в третата част. I think that we lost organization in the third quarter. И направихме някакво грешки в нападение, които позволиха на тях да направят серия от 7 на 0 за минута и 30. We made some mistakes in offense, so they made a серия 7-0. За минута и половина. For a minute and a half. Също така, както тренера каза, трябва да подобрим защитата, защото от както сме на турнира, не сме успяли нито една част да задържим противника по 20 точки. As the coach said, we have to work on our defense, because since now, during the tournament, we couldn't make a quarter with Uh, less than 20 points in our basket. We will analyze our game, we will watch video, and we will fight for the win for the next uh, two games. I'd like to open up the floor for questions in English first, and then we will transfer over to questions for the Bulgarian press too. Yes, basket news. Hello, Mr. Valencius, Basque News. I have a question for coach. Yeah. Uh, defensively, again, he had many problems, allowing 91 points after allowing 100 points two times before. So what, what kind of problems do you face as team defensively and what doesn't work for you guys? We try to, to change some details in defense especially on low post, on pick and roll, but uh, generally the problem is uh, personal. We have not uh, uh, many players with uh, defensive skills. It's very, very difficult to improve this during the championship. This is a job during the season, during the, the past. This is the problem. Also, we have no uh, big physical skills big bodies like uh, the opponents. Uh, it's not the problem of desire. It's not the problem of tactic in defense. This is personal defensive skills. Uh, also, could you talk a little bit about Sasha Lezankov? He is, despite that he has the biggest target on the back from 
opponents, he still manages to score those big numbers. So, what could you tell about his day, about his game? Sasha Vezenkov is one of the best players in Europe, for sure, in the top five in the Euro League. It's normal he, to be leader. It's not easy to to defend him. Any team he, he, here, he has a very big role in our team. Not the same in Olympiakos in his team, but in our team in Bulgaria, he is really leader. I'm very satisfied of uh, his game. Uh, like uh, player, like person, like leader, like everything. So, Saraman Alba, the Vasher Tebet for the co coach Rosen. Uh, those three games you played were uh, almost lost by your, la uh, your loss of physicality in the tough moments, like you said, at the start of or the third quarter when Montenegro started also scoring not only for three points, but good with it, made a, a good game around the, the rim. How is for you to face this situation for the rest of the tournament? It's not be easy. So yesterday, we were tired in the last quarter. But today, the problem wasn't uh, in this moment because the problem was in the beginning, the first five minutes in the in the third quarter, after half time, 15 minutes, and they did a run 14-0. This is the key. It's not a problem of a physical problem in this moment, I think. So tomorrow we have one day for recover. We will be ready for the last last two days. Uh, also, after the first game, you said that the boss is not in a good shape. Today, again, he made six assists, but also went 0 for 7, scoring only one point. So, did you talk with him? Maybe you tried to adjust something to in his way? So, what, what was the problem? I talk with him every day, 10 times minimum. So, he is not in good shape. Everybody can see this. So, in offense, in offense, he passed very well the ball, he looks the game, but in defense, in fast break, and his, his uh, number is, is not enough. Normally, his score for Bulgarian team, 15, 20, 25 points. Uh, today, one, of course, is not enough. What to say, but Dibos is very important player for our team, especially for the last two games. And I believe him that he will help us. Last question in English before we transfer over to the Bulgarian press. Uh, Coach Andre Ivanov didn't play that much uh, last game or didn't play at all. Today, 23 minutes, 17 points for him, but uh, the youngster Emil Soilov maybe got his minutes cut a bit. Uh, can you tell us more about that decision, uh, how you saw that uh, Ivanov could have a good game? Of course, of course. It was a great game for him, the best in his career in the national team. He has a lot of skills. He is a guy that wants to improve. He works very hard. He is ready to play one minute, one second, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. He is this kind of player that all the coaches in the world likes him. I know him very well, and I am very happy for, for uh, today for him. Due to timing, we just want some few questions here for the Bulgarian press. Would anybody like to? Господин Барчовски, какво е състоянието на Станимир Маринов? Има ли вече някаква яснота? Предполагам, ще минава прегледи, но все пак какви са първоначалните прогнози за това? Аз даже не знам какво е. Трудно ми се, че някакво разтежение на бедрото отзад. И веднага ми казаха медицинския щаб, че няма да може да играе в този матч. Виждам, че много трудно ходи. Сега по най-бързия начин ще трябва, не знам какви са условията, трябва да се направи според мен веднага магнитен резонанс. И притеснен съм за него. Притеснен съм. Ще чакам 
с свито сърце резултат. Силно се надявам, че е нещо леко, което може да се възстанови. Но това е положението. Ще бъде много сериозен обър за нас. Аз въпрос към Дидо имам. И към вас разбира се, защото всички се надяваме Станимир да е добре, но с представянето се определява днес. Дидо си заслужи и минутите в интересна истината и като че ли топката се въртеше добре. Да, Ди Босна Ефима има 6 асистенции, но Деян има 7 примерно. И смятате ли, че може да разчитате на него да говорим си непрекъсто за размерите на играчите, които са тук за техния сайс, но Дидо днес показва, че като че ли намерил своето място. Никога не ме е интересувало ръства. Това въобще не ме вълнува. Аз с неговите качества го познавам. Откакто аз съм треньор, той няма матч, който да не е в състава и да не разчитам на него. Да, някой път може да играе по-малко, някой път повече. Сега очевидно ще играе повече, защото игра прекрасно и с неговата основна роля ние намалихме тази разлика, която стана от 9-10 точки до 2. Там имахме шансове отново да спечели на матча, така че аз съм доволен от това как играе. Единственото, което ми дава спокойствие, ако не дай си Боже нещо има със Станимир, че той ще е на линия, въпреки че и него го удариха лошо и него го болеше на края кръка. Надявам се, утре се виждат тия удари, какъв е резултата да не стане, някакво да му се издуе кръка, да има болка, но надявам се да му мине. Генерално съм много доволен от играта. Last question, please, so we can turn things around, okay? Господин Борчовски, макар да сме ги смятали до някъде възможни, по-възможни тези загуби, не действат ли обезпоръжаващо тези резултати, че се доближаваме? Така имаме шансове и ги изпускаме. Еми, при всички положения е така. Значи, тази победа нямаше да ни гарантира в никакъв случай минаване в следващата фаза. Най-вероятно трябваше да се спечелят последните два матча отново. Но ще ще да е много важна за самочувствието ни и за психика на всички нас и на играчите и на мен. Желание не липсваше, но не се получава. Точно така е. Победата ще ще донесе много повече самочувство. Но тук си проличава един отбор, дали има характер в трудни моменти да може да се дигне. Това е много важно. За мен е много важно да запазиме духа си, позитивизма, каквито грешки има да си ги Кажем и да си ги видим, но да продължим. Аз мисля, че ние не играем лош баскетбол, добър баскетбол играем, така че няма място за униние. Коуч Розенбачовски, Дейан Карамфилов, благодаря ви много и всичко добре за вас.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back here to the post-game press conference of the game between Bulgaria and Montenegro here at the Tbilisi, Georgia venue, the 2022 FIBA Euro Basket. Can we kindly ask that mobile phones are on silent? We get an opening statement from both player and coach. We'll have time for questions in English and in Montenegro. Can we also please kindly ask that if you are selected for a question, please introduce yourself and state the company that you are writing for. Coach Boska Radovic, excellent victory for you and your team. An open statement from your perspective after your victory. Uh, good evening, everybody. Congratulations to my guys, to my boys. Congratulations to Bulgarian team on, I can say, good game. Uh, they are playing every game on 80 and more points. And uh, uh, it's a typical for us to, to make 90, 91. They made tonight, they average, but we made 91. Again, I think the key of the game was third quarter when we play defense like we, we know. We just let him score 12 points. And after that was, uh, you know, whole game was was tied, you know, but uh, uh, very important two victories for us in two days. Uh, we play tonight with, without uh, Popovic. He he had some injury. Perry in first half start to playing and in in. Five, three, four, five minutes. They also was injured, but uh, they are very brave. On half time, he said to me, "I'm a coach. I want to play." And I think he played injured. Excellent second half. Igor Drobniak, excellent game tonight. 17 points. Just a word from you and your perspective from the game. Good evening, everybody. Uh, before all, I want to congratulate to my teammates for for win. That's second win in a row for us, and now we are one step closer to the next round. Uh, we struggle all game with uh, with defense, especially in first half, like when they score 46 points. But my coach say kill the game was third quarter when they start to play defense a little bit harder, and we stay together and win the game. We'd like to open up now for questions in English. Can we just kindly state that you state your name, please, mm -hmm. and who you're writing for, please? Rain Slats is FIBA. Igor, uh, you obviously have had some big games for the Montenegro youth teams, yet uh, now 17 points in a Eurobasket game. Uh, any any chance you know where this ranks for you as you know one of your favorite favorite games in your in your career? Yeah, for sure. This this big game for me. I score 17, but. And then most important is that we win the game, and like I say, uh, that's important game for me, and my teammates helped me to do that. There you go. Great game. Really enjoying watching you play in this in this Euro basket. Just talk about um, learning and playing with uh, Mihailovic and Kendrick Perry, whether you're on the floor with them or or coming off the bench for them. Can you say again? Great game. Just talk about your, your understanding uh, and your relationship that's developing with the likes of Mihailovic and, and Kendrick Perry and what you're learning from them. Yeah, thank you for that. And yeah, they helped me a lot before games, on the practices, on the games. They give me some advice and that's mean to me. Question over. Good afternoon, Jose Ramon Alba, the Vassar to Bay coach. Two questions for you. First of all, boy and W the leadership in a strange year like him that he was father a few months ago. He also became in a really nice shape through the summer in the situation of being new father and also he's here competing, scoring almost 20 points, making the team better every single game. How is that for you as a coach to coach them? And also next game for you is Spain. You have many ACB as a as a leader guys and Spain has plenty of uh, ACB players this year. How is to face for you and how the scouting could be uh, as that topic? Taking in mind you have ACB players and Spain is also full ACB players. 
talking about Boyan, Boyan is playing for our country, for, for national, a national team, I think, 12 years, and he's fighting uh, every time, and he's playing it's like last time playing. Boyan is uh, our leader. Every time he's here with the selection, he's a leader, he's a fighter, like tonight, like every game. Talking about uh, uh, game versus Spain, I don't know. Uh, in this moment, we are tired, not me, <laughs> players. Uh, we are tired, we must to, uh, to recover bodies next day and half or two days and uh, nothing we are playing for Spain that's uh, that's one of favorites in favorites in, in whole Euro basket uh, how I say we're gonna play same like we play for example for Turkey I know what's gonna happen but we're gonna play uh, the best of what we can and like I said before, we have our target, uh, that was Belgium, that was Bulgaria, that was uh, Georgia, uh, Turkey and, and uh, Spain, they are good teams, they are, that's a big roster, it's uh, Euroleague players, NBA players, it's uh, for us it's tough to play, but we will play like all other games. Last question to Ravens before we go to questions in Montenegro. And, and similarly, uh, Sasha Vezenko also having a very good tournament, always seems like in the right place at the right time. Uh, from your perspective as Montenegro's coach, uh, how, did it, how did it go for your team to try and defend him and what he's doing so well in this tournament? Uh, we are preparing uh, game versus Bulgaria. Uh, we are preparing Sasha Vezenko. And but he's a great player. And he scored again twenty-eight points. He gonna score every game twenty-eight to three points. Just is a question when. I think tonight he didn't score in in some mm, I say key moment. He scored in first half, he scored in maybe in third quarter, start in fourth quarter, but he didn't score. I think tonight, in, in, in the key moment, Sasha Vezenkov is, is a great player and he's showing that all this tournament and in Euroleague and he scored, I said, again, 28 points, but I think uh, it's very difficult to stop him, especially in, in national team, but I think tonight he didn't score in this key moment, that's, that's my opinion. I'd like to open up now for press in Montenegrin. Coach Bosko Radovic, Igor Drobniak, thank you so much. All the best to you. Congratulations. Thank you.